We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another video. We're taking a look at a lightsaber today. I'm pretty excited. Got this one for like 60% off. Um, you know, lightsabers from Hasbro and the Black Series unfortunately have sort of priced me out of ever getting any. Um, I did have the, I do still have Ray's lightsaber from the Rise of Skywalker, but um, at 60% off, I kind of decided to jump on it. Um, I got Princess Leia's uh, Leia Organa's Force Effects Elite lightsaber from the Rise of Skywalker. Um, yeah, like I said, 60% off, more than half price. Um, and I've always I've wanted a blue lightsaber for a little while, um, and I do really like the design of this one. Um, so I'm excited to uh, crack into it and have a look, and then probably spend the better part of this evening running around the backyard, swinging it around, going whoosh whoosh. Um, <laughs> but it does have its own sound, so I probably won't have to. But it happens. So still, there was talk. About some black series figures of Luke and Leia from this sort of flashback scene um, which I'd still love to see don't get me wrong um, yeah there's the hilt let's have a look at the back so it comes on the same stand I think they've most most of them all come on that same stand I'm not sure again this is only the second second black series lightsaber I've owned so I don't really have a lot to go off of. So, yeah, let, let's let's bust it open and we'll have a good look at the hilt and uh, see how it looks. Alright, here it is. And I'm, I must say I'm very, very impressed with this thing. It looks great. It, it's got some weight to it. It feels good. Um, yeah, it's, this is a cool lightsaber to have. I... Never really gave it much credit. I have a little, few little nitpicks involving this lightsaber um, with the Rise of Skywalker with, with the film. Nothing to do with the lightsaber itself. I just think that when Rey was able to pour, pass one through to Kylo, through the Force, I think this is the one he sh she should have given him as opposed to Luke's. Um, I just think, you know, Ben Solo being redeemed, come back, and being able to use his mother's lightsaber would have been... Far more emotional beat than having Luke's rebuilt one. It's just, just my personal thoughts, but that's that's how I feel. But uh, yeah, I just feel like that would have had more of a emotional resonance from that moment. So let's take a look here. You love that sort of Mr. Rose. Just a rose gold bronze. Yeah, not really rose gold, more of a metallic bronze. So there is a there is a button there. There is a button there. That's obviously the activator. I love that it's got the belt clip. Obviously it's gotta have all your little bits and pieces on the side there. If anyone knows how to get rid of those marks, I'd love to know. Um, you know, just to sort of make it a little bit more replicary and less of a expensive toy. It feels good to hold. It feels really good to hold. I've definitely taken. I love the design, sort of carrying over from, you know, a little bit of Luke Skywalker. A little bit of Anakin Skywalker. Sort of thinking with the sort of the grip elements here. And when you see Ben Solo's lightsaber before before he cracks it, very similar to this. There's particularly that sort of that sort of vibe there. In terms of the construction of this thing, when you put the blade in because I'm pretty sure Luke's green one and Obi-Wan's lightsaber requires you to upgrade to the sort of thicker the thicker hilt there in order to house the blade a little bit more strongly as you can kind of see so but I'll be uh, I think I'll just be displaying it as the hilt without the blade while I've 
got it out. So we'll sit that in there. Now I've got to see how this thing. <laughs> obviously, I was going to try and get the blade in there. That's obviously the, the whole reason I was just talking about. spot there and screw that on it sort of doesn't want to thread on properly maybe I need to doesn't look like it's straight oh no it's working now no it's not let me do a test run without the blade just to see whether that will whether there is an issue with the threading no just me Let's pop that back in there so yeah just putting it through that feels fine line it up There we go. That feels better. And obviously, I haven't got any batteries in it yet. Just sort of see the blade. Yeah, while the the sort of thickness doesn't really detract from it too much. It definitely gives it a different look. I love the sort of elegance of that sort of slender, slender end of the emitter there. I think that looks, it just looks nicer, you know. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't take away anything from the blade itself. Like I'm gonna have some fun when I put some batteries in it, and uh, obviously the little battery pack comes in the bottom here. work out how this comes out maybe that screw there is has, has something to do with it I should read the instructions but <laughs> you know what I uh, I just wanted to, to do a little video sort of sharing the hilt and some of my thoughts I, I, I did love the uh, the story behind Leia actually receiving Jedi training from her brother which was just such a good moment just you know left us wondering what could have been if paths had gone gone a different way but yeah love love some of these elements on this hilt compared to uh Ray's sort of scavenger hilt Nice to have something a little bit more elegant on display in the collection, so I'll be looking forward to it. You know, I'm going to grab some batteries and we'll, we'll have a little test run. All right, so I've just turned around a little bit, just so a little bit more room. Turn this thing on. Here we go. I like the sound of it. And it's got a sort of, sort of a different sort of, you know, sort of that ambient sort of sound. It's... A little button there does the I do love that the blade sort of shows through the through the sides.
Yeah, it's got a nice hum to it. I like it. A little bit different to some of the others. Yeah, while I know there are a lot different, lot some a much better quality lightsabers out there on the market, um, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this one. I think it looks good. I'm happy to happy to have this one in the collection. I think it looks nice. I'm glad I didn't pay too much because I think they are overpriced for what they are. You know, the price has just sort of slipped up for over the last couple of years. And you don't really get a lot extra for your money, I don't think. So that, that could be on me. That could be my perceptions of the quality of these things. But still, I'm happy to have a blue lightsaber in the collection. A nice, rich, vibrant blue. Next up, green. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this one. I'm, like I said, really happy to have this in the collection. I think it looks sweet. I, I dig it. I think it's really, really cool. It's going to display nicely next to Ray's. Yeah, if there's any others you recommend, please let me know. I'd love to... Love to hear what you got to say. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to get a green one. I don't know whose. I suppose Luke's. I think Yoda's is almost out. Um, probably end up going for Luke's, to be honest. But that would actually pair really nicely with this one. But, yeah, I thank you all very, very much for watching. See you again soon for another video. Until then, may the Force be with you always.